Hello all, Hi V8 here, and in this video, we'll be discussing how to change your dog's image and how to use image bank. So, whether you're new and wish to spice up your dog's pictures or old and brushing up on a few things, this is a skill that is useful in the world of furry paws. So, to first access the image bank, you'll want to hover over Atlas and look over under information. This can be found here. Now, before you do this, you are going to want to make sure that you have JavaScript enabled. So this can be found here in your settings, under kennel settings, or if you are already in your kennel, you can come up to this nice little bar up here and click on settings. So this helps so that the tabs actually fall down. Otherwise, they won't even really highlight. So you want to make sure that JavaScript is enabled because if you don't, then it will make navigating the website very difficult. Um, so under information, you want to click image bank. So this will allow you to view the images that are available for all the breeds of furry paws. Um, it'll automatically show the newest images. So these are the most recently submitted images. Um, so click on find images. Under, under find images, click by breed. So this will allow you to search out the breed that you specifically want to use. So for this, I'm going to be using my Border Collie. Uh, her name is Cherry. And so I'm going to use this little scroll down menu and click on Border Collie. I'll then click find images and wait for the page to load up. So the image doesn't have to look like your dog. So for example, if you have a gray Border Collie, for example, it does not have to be a gray work collie. So using the image bank allows you to essentially change your dog's appearance without actually changing the dog's appearance. So like their actual like computer generalized appearance. So if you have, I don't know, a red border collie, say red merle border collie, then you can make it look piebald, for example. So I'm gonna find one that I like. Some of them have different variations in color, so you can get the same model, just in a different color. So, for example, I'll use this one so you guys can see. This color is just one of the options. So, if we go back, you'll see that there's different colors that you can choose by selecting the little rainbow colors. It gives you a whole variety of different colors. I think I'm going to stick with one that looks closest to my dog. She's a pretty unique look. I think it's between this one and this one. I'll go with the lighter of the gray because I like the lighter of the gray. So after this, you're going to hit select image. And it will carry you on to the next page where you will select your dog. I'm using Cherry, so I'm going to click Cherry. It should automatically assign. And she'll get a new picture. That looks nice. Well, let's say that instead of assigning this to Cherry, I wanted to assign it to my other border collie, Peace. So how do I get rid of this? Some people would think, oh, if I just click regenerate, that'll work. But if you click on that, it usually doesn't work. This is usually for this is usually most useful when for when Halloween comes around and your dogs get tricks played on them, which can change their color. To actually change this image bank picture or remove it, you click on change, which can be found under your dog's image, and you will remove the entire URL. And it actually gives you a nice little note that says leave blank for default image. This is true. And once you click save, it'll default back. So this is just the basics of using the image bank. There are plenty of different ways, and once you learn to navigate the site better, you'll be able to figure out what you should and shouldn't do to get there, and which should work best for you. For example, you might find an artist that you really, really love. You can usually find them by artist as well. It might not be the breed that you're looking for, but it might inspire you to buy a new breed. You would search them up 
through their user ID, which can be found over here for your own. So let's just say that I was looking for a specific person. So we would see, oh, look, they have some nice ones. So then you can actually search by the artist as well. And you can find images specifically by them. I hope you guys have learned a lot from this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoy your time on Friday Pulse. It's a lovely website. And make sure you guys use these images whenever you feel like you want to change your dog's appearance for some reason. Or if you accidentally fed them grapes and can't get the color off. This is a good solution for that. So, now that you know how to use the image bank, just repeat what you've learned and give your dog snazzy artist-made art. It's not the generalized furry paw standard art, and it'll make your appearances look cool. This is one of my favorite things to do, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Keep furry pawing!